So this is it. This is the time where I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna talk about all the things that I'm going to miss about London. new here to my channel hi welcome you are here during a time where I am saying goodbye to one of my favorite places ever I love living here it is everything to me it has been my identity for the past oh my gosh two years now two years I've been living in London so we're gonna sit down and we're gonna talk about what I'm gonna miss about this city because I leave in less than two weeks I leave on October 29th it is October 17th how has these last few months gone by so quick? I have no idea, but I told myself that I knew it was going to go by fast, and it is. It's already gone by. <laughs> so we're going to sit down. We're going to talk about things I'm going to miss about London, because I do love this city, and there's some things, some very niche things that I love that I'm going to miss. So let me get out my list. It's on my phone. Things I'll miss about London. Oh no, one walking everywhere i love walking everywhere i love walking after dinner because you get to digest your food i love walking just anywhere and everywhere it's such a walkable city you can walk from i mean you don't want to because it'll take hours but you can walk from one end to the other like through town it's just so walkable it's so amazing when i'm at home in georgia there it's not walkable i drive everywhere you know america was built for cars london and older cities were built for walking that's kind of how it goes and how it is. So I'm going to miss walking everywhere. I do love walking. Pub culture. I'm really going to miss pubs. I think the pub culture is amazing. I think that we don't have stuff like that in America. We don't have bars. is Because pubs are technically... I mean, like, hear me out. I know y'all are going to be like, no, pubs are not bars. They're not. But pubs are a place you go to drink, right, with friends. In America, when you go to drink friends, it's more to belligerently drink drink a lot and or if it's not to drink a lot then you go to a nice restaurant and you sit there and have a few drinks but it's a restaurant like it's not just a place to drink calmly and have conversations play card games like you don't do that in america <laughs> like you do not do that here you do that it's pubs you go to pubs you lightly drink and like you lightly drink over time so then you do get drunk but i feel like america it's a lot different drinking culture and when you go drink at a bar or if there is a pub, the music's really loud, too loud. You can't even have a conversation. That's sort of how it is. So I'm really going to miss the pub culture here. I'm not that big of a drinker. I just I just don't really drink that much at all. And so when I go to pubs, it's really nice because I only get maybe even one drink. Sometimes I just get a Coca-Cola because I love Coca-Cola. So that's normally what I do. Crumpets. I'm going to miss crumpets a lot. I recently have just found these beautiful things. They have holes in them. They're not like a muff McMuffin. They, I don't know how to describe them, but they're great. I'll put them right here. That's what a crumpet is. It's really good. You like, I don't know how to properly cook them, but they taste good. When I, however I cook them. I'm not even going to tell you all how I cook them because I think I'm just going to get bashed for it. I'm going to miss no preservatives. I feel like everything's so much fresher. My produce is fresher. My food, my pizza if i get pizza the bread doesn't hurt my stomach and it shouldn't hurt my stomach but in america there are so many more preservatives and so many more bad things and just things that you're putting in your body through this food that should not be in your body and i've learned that a lot here where london really does not have that many preservatives in their food that's why when my friend bailey came to visit she's from america and so we went to the grocery store we got some raspberries for her and i told her make sure you eat them soon two days max because they'll go bad they'll get moldy and it's because there's not that many preservatives but that also means that they're fresher for you and they're good for you like you know they don't have bad stuff in them so those went bad also she forgot to eat them She's on the American timetable where she's like, oh, I can eat them in like four days and still be fine. Which is true. In America, you can do that because it's, they look all clean and nice and they don't get moldy for a while. You have to keep them in your fridge for a while for them to get moldy. And so they went bad and she had to toss them. But another thing I'm going to miss about London is the museums. I love the museums. I love the fact that you can go and see all these amazing artifacts and all these amazing pieces of art. 
the Victoria and Albert Museum. I love that museum. The Natural History Museum. Not my favorite museum, but it was really cool to see. The National Gallery. I love the National Gallery because First of all, I created a really great memory at the National Gallery. I went on a really cute date at the National Gallery. Um, it didn't end, like I've talked about this before, didn't end well, but that date was phenomenal. I was living in a rom-com movie for a second. Like, I met the guy at Trafalgar Square, and then we sat there, talked for like two hours. It just like, it was amazing. Ended up that he's just not that great of a guy, <laughs> but... We experienced such a great first date there. We didn't have any other dates, so it, it was great. Like, I wish, honestly, I just would have left it there instead of, like, both of us trying to, you know, rekindle it in a way, but I wish we just would have left it, cut it off at the head right there because those memories, like, that memory is amazing. So we met at Trafalgar Square. You guys know what Trafalgar Square is. This is what I'm going to miss about London, too. This, I, like, this rom-com scenario that I had this romantic amazing scenario first date I had which is phenomenal so we met Trafalgar Square like I said third three times okay so we met you know where and then we sat there for like two hours sitting there big Ben you know in our view direction it was so cool and then he's like okay the museum's about to close let's go in and so we go in he speaks Dutch and French and so he's running around the museum, dragging me around, like showing me these different paintings that he loves and different artists that he loves because he was there like a few days before scouting it out apparently like a bit. And so he's like speaking French to me from these paintings, like saying the paintings names in French and just explaining it to me and just like, it was phenomenal. It was the cutest thing ever. I was like, I need to write a book about this because it was that adorable. And so we're running around, we're laughing, so physical touchy. Like he was so, it was just amazing. He was so tall. He was like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, with a beautiful accent. It was phenomenal. It was great. He's, he was so handsome. He was so cute too. And so we're running through the museum and he we get outside and that was supposed to be like, the date was just the museum and then he was like oh do you want to go to the pub too like do you want to go get a drink at the pub and I'm like do I want to go get a drink at the pub okay <laughs> I'll do that and so we go to the pub and we have a drink and it's just so it's such good chemistry it really is so I'm like wow like this is the best date I've ever had like really it is and so we get a drink, we get a couple more drinks, well he gets a couple more drinks, I stop drinking in a way because I don't want to be hammered on this first date because I kind of want to remember it because it's so good, I'm like okay Z, like we're not going to get really drunk because I do want to remember these details. I was meeting up with my girlfriends later that night, he was meeting up with his guy friends from Oxford later that night, and so I'm like, I'm like Oxford too, I'm like you have guy friends from that go to Oxford, like this is just crazy to this American mind. So I'm like, okay, cool. And then my friends are like texting me like, where are you, Izzy? And so we both like say, oh, we have to go. Like the time went by. We're like 8 p.m. already. Oh my gosh, we're supposed to meet with our friends at 8.30. So it was like a six hour date. It was crazy, crazy. He walks me to the Leicester Square tube station and we say goodnight. And then that is one of the last times I saw him. So he walked off, I walked off. I got down into the Lester tube, tube station and I put my back against the wall and I like, I was like this, what just happened? Like it was so fun. It was so fun. I'm going to miss that so much about London, these memories. So I like put my back against the wall and I'm like, oh my gosh, like that was the most romantic rom-commy date I've ever had. I am so glad I broke up with my ex and found this. <laughs> like even if we're not going together, like just experiences like this where I'm like oh my gosh I could have settled with my ex no hate against him but I could have settled with my ex lived in Georgia didn't do this London study abroad and didn't get to have this amazing rom-com of a first date in London it was insane it was it was so wonderful and then after like 10 minutes of like putting my back up against that wall I like zombie walk down to the escalator and I'm just like blushing I am blushing so hardcore I get on the tube, I sit down, I don't even put music in, and I'm just like staring on the tube like wow, like that was just so fun, great chemistry, great conversation, just him speaking to me in French, I was like ooh la la, like it was, it was really good, yeah, and then I got home and then I just put on a lot of Taylor Swift, 
and I was actually so bamboozled I went on the wrong floor of my student residency and I was on FaceTime with one of my friends Jen Clark actually if you're watching this you remember this I was on FaceTime I was so bamboozled and so just put out of place because of this whole thing I was I didn't know what to do with my body and my myself I had no idea what to do I'm like on FaceTime with my friend Jen and I'm on the wrong floor of my student hall residency and I go to my door and I walk in and it's not my room and someone else was in there and he was like what are you doing in here he was like half naked it was so embarrassing and Jen's like what happened and I'm like oh my god why I said why are you in my room like I accused him of being in my room he's like no you're in my room and I like walked out and I kept walking and then Jen's like uh what just happened I said I think I just walked into the wrong room we could not stop cracking up and I was like Jen, like I am so bamboozled by this date because all my friends also I was on my phone because everyone was texting me all my friends from study abroad they knew this was happening they knew the whole story like how long we've been me and the guy have been kind of texting through Instagram for a while and then finally we're both in London at the same time stars aligned we went on this magical day it happened i told them the whole story they were gushing over the story it was so fun the memories i have just from that like me and the guy didn't work out and that is okay like he's i figured out he's really actually not my type so just let there's like some lessons i learned from this one you can go on a fantastic date like that and have these feelings and he not be the one okay like it can happen it happens two you can go on a date like that and all it is, all you get from it is pure amazing memories of you telling your girlfriends the story and them gushing over it. Like that makes me so happy because we were, they were all like, no, no. Like they're like, this is like a movie. And I'm like, I know. Now it was kind of painful because it didn't work out because I thought, you know, stars are aligning. Oh my gosh, it's going to be my next boyfriend. But nope, not on my list. Not on my list. Not anymore, man. But it's just great memories great stories so i will miss that a lot about london now that i'm like gushing over i'm like oh my gosh i have so many memories to talk about going on from that so museums i'm going to miss museums and i'm gonna miss hot foreign guys speaking the painting names to me in french that's what i'm gonna miss <laughs> that's that's what i'm gonna miss the next one public transport i love the public transport here i love the tube i love the trains i love the red bus i love the buses i love everything here i mean you don't even have to have a car which is great which is rare to me like that is not something that's normal for me because for example in america you drive like i said before everything's car based so you drive around so when i move home if i'm not moving to a city in america then i'm gonna have to buy a car because i don't have a car anymore because my parents sold my car when i moved here because you know they thought i'd be out here for a little longer didn't turn out that way so I've got to buy a car I love the public transport I love it so much and we'll get more onto it there's more niche things for, with the public transport that I love and I'll just go into it deeper too on my little rituals and things that I do in the city so city mapper city mapper is a great app if you are on this and you're about to study abroad or you're about to move to London whatever it is anything is like associated with London download city mapper it is the best app to get around the city it tells you all the times, all the fastest times of how long it would take you to get there through different means of transport. And it tells you the cost of each transport. So it's just, it's phenomenal. This is what the city app icon looks like. Get it. Uh, okay. I thought I deleted the whole page. I was like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it deleted, it went away. And I was like, uh, all my hard work of me thinking about it late at night. <laughs> Like ideas that pop in my head 3 a.m. Oh, I need to write it down and I'm like D -d 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 -d, You know Rainy moody days. There is something about rainy moody days in London because I feel like growing up London and England I just romanticized it a lot in America thinking that's what the movies made it out to be like That's just it's just such a great feeling. I mean there's songs written about rainy days in London There's like I said movie TV shows about rainy days in London and so when there is a rainy proper rainy moody cloudy day in london i eat that up i bring out my books my candles i am just a cozy little girl just enjoying it so much i love it so thank you london for all those rainy days i really did appreciate them and i hope i get a couple more before i leave the next one this hits straight to the uh, straight to the heart my british friends I'm gonna miss y'all so much. 
yeah um all my British friends you guys know who you are I don't need to say your names I'm gonna miss y'all so much I can cry I'm gonna cry thinking about it I'm not gonna cry I might cry I miss, I'm gonna miss y'all so much it's unbelievable we haven't said our goodbyes yet of course because I saw two weeks here but I kind of know the days when I'm about, I'm going to say goodbye because it's the last time we're hanging out for a while and I'm like oh I'm dreading it I'm like really like you hear my voice in my eyes I'm like that's I'm really gonna miss that <laughs> yeah so don't want to talk about that anymore so the tube we'll go back to the tube <laughs> I won't I'm gonna cry about the tube too <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going to miss the tube. I love the tube. I know that some people who live here, they don't really like the tube because it's normal to them. It's an everyday thing. It's gross. It's hot in there. It's just not fun, you know. I remember my first tube entry when I was going on the tube for the first time and had to figure it out. It was an experience. I'll actually roll that tape right now. So look at it. I know. How do we do this? Okay. The the you know which, which, which way? I need so... ignorant that I mean that clip literally shows I was like oh my gosh I made it on like and all my friends were like how'd you get over there past the barriers it was just no one told us no one instructed us how to do it so we had to learn by the signs and the indications when you physically walk into the tube no one told us how to do the tube no one told us so that's how we did it I, I'm gonna miss the tube I love you I love all the lines honestly I have literally written some last lines and I didn't even notice it yet that's really sad okay not last though I don't want to keep saying last I'm gonna be back okay now we're going to food mmm some food I'm gonna miss like look like brand food names places to go because I still like the crumpets like I'm gonna miss crumpets but blank street coffee Joe and the juice and Nando's the most those three those three places I'm gonna miss a lot I like blank street I know it's from New York City so opportunity to go back guaranteed and Joan Juice from LA right they're all American oh my gosh except for Nando's which is from Africa love Nando's oh my gosh I love Nando's so much it's actually unreal I need to have a last Nando's date and that's definitely gonna be on my list so Nando's love you the next thing on my list is the parks. I love the parks. I love how there's so much nature in London. So different from New York City, because New York City you only have Central Park, that one park. In London you have multiple parks, so many parks. They're so big, some of them small. They're great. And then you can bicycle around. I'm gonna miss bicycling around the parks because that is like one of my favorite moments, especially during the fall when you are just, the trees are really beautiful. They're starting to change color. You're cycling through the way they're like so tall and like make a little arch for you. It's so beautiful. So definitely bicycle around. Use the Bike Santander, I think they're called, or Lime Bikes. Lime Bikes are a little bit more expensive. I like the Bike Santanders. They're not the best quality, but they're cheaper. So the next thing I'm really going to miss includes public transportation in the bus, but I have this little ritual I do and this little ceremony I do where if I'm on the bus, which I've been taking a lot recently because it's a lot easier to get on the bus into places I need to go from my new flat that I'm in here in King's Cross. And so I take my book with me and I read on the bus and it is so adorable and so fun and time goes by so fast. The bus stops go by really fast, but I just love the fact that I can sit on top of the red bus, sit there on the front, have London be like my background in my view but also reading an amazing book like that is top tier that is top of the class I'm so gonna miss that from London another thing I'm gonna miss is going to coffee shops and catching up with my friends with a cute coffee and a cute place I mean I could you could go to coffee shops every single day for the rest of your life here in London and go to a different coffee shop each day there are so many coffee shops there's so many cute shops like bakery shops there's so many lunch places dinner places there's just 
oh my gosh, the food world here is just amazing. I love the ambiance that a lot of these restaurants make as well. Like, I was at Chiltern Firehouse, which is very, like, members only kind of feeling club in a way like kind of but you don't have to be a members only to go just saying but like expensive restaurant really nice place so many celebrities are spotted there all the time at on the outside but you can go little do you know you can go and have coffee and so you're like sitting by the fireplace I'm with my great friend Ananya and we're just sitting there having coffee with the fireplace there outside the little tea I mean I'll put the video here but the little tea cups are so like porcelain and cute and have the little baby blue writing on them it's wonderful so you can just go to so many different coffee places like that all in all those are little things that I'm gonna miss about London I am truly I haven't sat down and talked about it really because to be honest I am like really upset about it and like kind of grieving it in a way and like I'm really gonna miss London and so, oh, I'm going to start crying again. All the memories I've made in this town, in this city, I'm just, I'm so grateful for everything, for all the memories that I have and all the experience that I have and, you know, just making me into a better person. I am such a different person from when I first came here to when I'm here now and moving and I'm just really going to miss it. I'm really going to miss London a lot. So, oh, I haven't cried like this about it and it's like... Ever. Not yet. I've been holding it back, kind of. I'm really gonna miss London, and I really hope that you guys all still follow along on my journey of life because I have no idea what city I'm going to be moving to next. I don't know if I'm gonna stay in Georgia. I don't know if I'm gonna move to New York City. I just, I don't know all, like, my life is just so up in the air right now and it's like so uncomfortable and just weird. <sighs> More vlogs to be coming about, you know, lifestyle things, but I know a few of you recommended you guys wanted me to specifically sit down and talk about all the London things that I'm going to miss. And so here's the video for you. I really hope you enjoyed all these little things and I hope that you get to experience them one day in London. I will see you on the next vlog. It's going to be a lot of emotions coming up in the next few weeks. So bear with me and just come along for the journey because life is crazy right now. It is insane. So love y'all. Bye. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.